Bye. Hello, hello, Capricorn. Welcome to Angie Blog. I'm so glad you're here, guys. Thank you so much for being here. I'm Angie. Um, today we're doing a timeless reading. It's called uh, Thinking Outside the Box. It's for the, the week of the 7th to the 13th of March. So also I wanted to thank you guys so much. I just uh, uh, publish a new podcast number 27 everything that you need to know is in the description below uh, thank you so much for your like your comments and subscribe guys your donations it really means a lot to me um, also guys hello new subscriber thank you for joining then welcome to the family and those who have been here hey 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 <laughs> all right capricorn these are the messages that the holy spirit has guided me to tell you guys but let's dive into it right away what does i also got two on thank you so much guys for your um support on medium and our writer slip blog and the eco store as well thank you so much um i've been getting a lot of good feedbacks from you guys so thank you thank you i'm going to be posting the astrology reading for the 7 to the 13 on medium and on Angie, uh, Angie, on writers, yeah, uh, blog, okay? I keep saying that, but it is Angie. Uh, <laughs> All right. All right, angels and ancestors, thank you so much for letting us see what we need to see. Please protect us from the guys' white light. Anything more than that, please close that door. Any evil malignant intentions and so it is. Please let us know what Capricorn needs to know outside of the box. Sorry guys, if you hear the noise, I'm trying to make some tea. I'm a tea person. <laughs> I like my tea. Perhaps you are too, Capricorn. I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> Alright, let's see what Capricorn needs to. Oh. All right, gratitude, nine of pentacles, yes. Mm -hmm. We have the six of cups, the nine of swords in reverse, okay. That's, not, that's actually pretty good. And you have the judgment in reverse, okay. King of swords in reverse, all righty. Mm hmm thank you spirit you have the seven of wands really oh yes oh yes very major arcana going on here uh-huh yep wow spirit you're really into it wow capricorn's like spirit's really speaking here Alrighty, I'm gonna take these because I already feel like. Also, I'm feeling this sense of inner peace from within, so that's good, Capricorn. So if you've been uh, healing yourself, working on yourself, you know that's something that I I feel like with the Nine of Pentacles, um, it took you a lot to be here. Like Nine of Pentacles is not easy as people tended to be you might be doing something that people think that oh it's just so easy you get so lucky but no you work very hard for what you got okay and i feel like you almost there out of your ten of pentacles but i feel like with the i don't know there's just a lot of gratitude like you're grateful for everything you have even the things that you don't even have yet like you're kind of like you're just like grateful for everything and that's good capricorns okay because usually the capricorns um you know the devil card right it tends to be very possessive very um uh very controlling you know and that's something that uh, i feel like with the nine of pentacles like you're kind of letting it go okay with the six of cups also could mean that you're focusing you could be in a soulmate connection or you probably are but not necessarily six of cup has to be soulmate connection it could also be you know reflecting um going and healing your inner child wound traumas or anything like that and also it could be with the six of pentacles like you're surrendering all that it could be addictions or anything like that so that's really good capricorns okay especially with the nine of swords in reverse i definitely see um 
you could have had in the past a lot of sleepless nights or somebody causing you a lot of stress a lot of mental conflict okay or trying to keep you um like not sleeping having anxiety depression yeah you went through yeah you, and this is deep like i feel like you overcome all the things that you went through by yourself like you didn't nobody helped you you know or like if maybe you went to therapy or something like that or but i feel like nobody helped you like you did this on your own and also you had a lot of people judging you yeah with the judgment in reverse and the king of swords you were dealing with somebody very narcissistic and abusive it could be a parent it could be a father figure it could be an ex it could be a, a with the lovers in reverse and not a not a not a boyfriend <laughs> not anymore and i feel like this took you a lot of strength and also for yourself like you brought yourself justice for whatever this person was trying to do behind your back yeah with the seven of wands you're very protected okay and also you stand in your ground you stand your ground to whoever try to abuse you manipulate you or emotionally um you know control your psychological abuse i feel like you just like you there, there was some justice that came in and during this week it's like thinking outside the box is really for you to continue doing what you're doing um because you already did you were doing things outside of the box like literally okay and i feel like you what divine is saying is that right now because you did that it's something that right now you're yeah with the eight of pentacles in reverse some of you could be dealing with like the loss of a job or loss of opportunity or it could be something that you were tied to somebody financially right and the fact that you separated from this person now you could be dealing with some financial situation but i feel like the vine wants to bring you justice here like there's gonna be some balance you could be dealing with a libra yeah, there's a lot of air signs here libra gemini aquarius uh cancer pisces scorpio pentacles virgo taurus uh yourself capricorn um gemini with lover's car strength leo yeah you're definitely building some stability you're building your inner strength like you're calling justice on yourself like you don't give a shit like even even if you struggle a little bit financially because this person could have probably sab like trying to brag you or trying to um keep you trapped to them because of money or something like that like you don't care you're like no i don't i'm not taking this shit anymore that's good because i feel this person was just there like judging you whatever you're doing wasn't good enough like i feel like this is something like you needed to go through so that you're able to um continue moving forward okay capricorns yeah the tower one was in reverse like this situation i feel like it had to happen in order for you to uh, yeah to know your worth yeah two of pentacles yeah you're the wounded warrior nine of wands you literally have to overcome a very difficult situation on your own yeah nobody was there for you huh yeah you have the hermit card and the ocean the nine of cups spirit what's with the nine of wands yeah that's good okay listen mr warrior capricorn whoever you are okay it's not gonna be for long okay you're not gonna be by yourself dealing with really intense situation okay i feel like divine wants to because you did this, you did this really difficult thing, this really hard work for yourself, okay? I feel like Divine is gonna help you continue building this stability, that strength, okay? I feel like you're building um, uh, in the self-discipline for yourself, okay? Also, you're avoiding any drama or situation that brings you any conflict or anything like that. And I feel like with the Two of Pentacles, like you're juggling a lot of things, or right now you're looking at your different options because you are the wooden art warrior, right? You're like your defense mode, you're protecting with the, the Seven of once here you're protecting your your finances your love life like you're very protective of your yourself and also while you're going through your healing okay yes definitely the three of swords you're dealing with a, a lot of heartbreak 
absolutely it could be a relationship it could be a job it could be a family uh you have to let go of something very very intense happened to you and you healed you're healing yourself or you've been healing right and i feel like right now what divine is trying to tell you that because you did that either this week or during this month you're gonna have somebody coming in offering you their ace of cups okay this could be a love life this could be an opportunity a new job it could be collaborating with other people um three of pentacles is really um it says recognition but i feel like this is like a collaboration like somebody wanting to work with you in terms of finances or it could be a, it could be love as well like they wanted to um you know but I feel like this person wants to take things slow with you because I feel like they know your heartbreak, what you've been through. <coughs> Other people are going to be... They might feel like left out in the cold a little bit here. Or this could be this person trying to come back because they don't want to be left in the cold. They don't want you to refuse their offer. The Page of Pentacles. I feel like this person is trying to brag you with their money or something like that. But you you guys are not doing this. Yeah. There's a Three of Cups here. Queen of Swords in Reverse. Yeah. With the four of pentacles i'm um, sorry the four of cups <coughs> oh, throat, it's really itchy. <coughs> yeah definitely you have somebody that's trying to mess with your throat they don't want you to speak the truth and i think you know this i think that's why you're walking away from this and you're willing to give yourself that self-love work on your stability build whatever it is that you're building could be a business could be um i feel like this is divine saying like outside of the box whatever you're thinking uh whatever idea that you want to do is protected and you're kindly divided if you want to do this do it okay don't let anybody judge you whatever they're thinking <coughs> yeah <coughs> oh yeah i'm gonna throw some incense one second <coughs> oh yeah absolutely <coughs> mm-hmm Oh yeah, Capricorns, absolutely. There's an idea, there's something that wants to birth from you, literally. And there's a lot of people stopping it from happening. That's why there's a lot of heartbreak and basically ultimate betrayal, but I feel like right now you're not letting this, don't, yeah, they're saying don't let it. Yeah, you're not, you're not, you're not longer in your head and mentally trapped, you know? But someone is, someone who try to do this, Someone who try to uh, break your heart and give and keep you in that confused mindset. It's uh, yeah, they're getting it. Yeah. Right now you're manifesting. Some of you could be, yeah. You have the ten of cups. Like yeah, you want the ultimate happiness. Or somebody sees you at the ultimate happiness. You can have people sending you death uh, magic or doing death magic on you could be this person this king of swords he looks like a very narcissistic abuser and very vindictive this person is pissed off by the way whatever you're if you walk away from this person because this person they don't they don't they don't yeah this knight of wands some of you could have blocked this person because it's like you know yeah it's just like they have they're in, like in a competition with you or something like that but you're just like you know and they're on heel but the will of fortune is on your side and that too is like new beginnings like you you're taking a leap of faith on yourself you know you're not you're not focusing on this person or whoever yeah no drama you don't want to know drama that too is like you're blocking somebody there's somebody blocked here you blocked this person ghost with them yeah you're not confused anymore you want to walk into your success yes you want to you know you're very successful whatever it is that you do it's like it becomes like magical like yeah with the hermit in reverse and order like right now this is what the divine is saying like that too is like make sure that you're healing make sure that you're healing your heart so that you're able to manifest yeah this queen of wands some of you could be you like you block someone or like something right now like if you want to move on or you want to travel but you're not able to right now or you feel like you're not able to 
You can have someone like a sister, a mother, a friend, or somebody backstabbing you in the back. They could have, this could be the person that this person is with. And maybe you found out. Some of you could, yeah, this is for some of you. You could have, because the Queen of Wands is the other women. Or this could be you. You're very passionate, very creative. But you're not focusing on the fact that you have a friend or somebody not very kind, very vindictive, who betray you. There's an ending to this Queen of Pentacles or this King of uh, the Swords here. Yeah, they're not happy for sure, right? Because you took your power back. These people were taking advantage of you. Yeah, you're focusing on your passion, your creativity. I see a lot of passion here, a lot of creativity, but it's like within yourself. Like you're giving yourself that love. Like you're done with overgiving to people and being there for others. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and somebody doesn't want you to walk away from you or they don't want you to walk away or listen to your intuition, but it's like you have to because it's like, you know there's a lot of people doing fucked up shit behind your back yeah that's why you block these people you're listening to your intuition some of you some of you are listening to your intuition and you're blocking these people and like even like ghosting them on social media and follow yeah like you know these people could be also having addictions with like alcohol and stuff like that but you're like no i don't want none of your fucking negativity i want to heal with the four of swords here yeah someone you are resting meditating which is good focusing on your creativity which is great like this is yeah somebody's trying to mess with your finances okay so make sure that you're protecting yourself this king of cups in reverse again the king of serve the king of cups somebody very mentally unstable very disturbing they're trying to create some confusion in your life they're very unhealed yeah they're gonna be la la grieving they're yeah they're grieving the loss of you yeah because that, that they were trying to cause all these issues and you know this and you're like no fuck that i know myself now i love myself yeah you're refusing any offer or anything that anybody fake ass offers Hmm. be careful you might have somebody that wants to come in and offer you another opportunity this could be another person make sure you're using discernment okay take it how it resonates but you have somebody with a seven of swords that have uh, betrayed you in the back they were envious and jealous of you they weren't for you and they were just bringing a lot of burdens okay so yeah and then you have a, the king of wands in reverse and the page of cups and yeah some of you know this already yeah, you know this like they're they wanted to leave you like they're trying to create poverty like they wanted to they wanted you to be poor like what the fuck but that it's on them it went back to them yeah they were trying to block your creativity or whatever passion new beginnings that you want to start and also any opportunity that comes to you it's like a this is like three people yeah, but you're refusing to collaborate with this per these people or, or wait for them. Yeah, you have a lot of karmic uh, Capricorn around you. I'm just saying, and the fact that you're healing and just pissing them off. Yeah, you're you're yeah. Yeah, the Four of Pentacles. You're really stingy about your money right now. Like you're focusing on your finances. Yeah, you're in the Queen of Cups energy. Very sensitive, very generous, very uh, very intuitive. Yeah, again, with the Four of Wands. Yeah, there's something coming in. It could be a, a celebration, a union. It could be your Twin Flame, you know, with the Moon card. You might know who this person is. Yeah, you, you're being divinely guided to this person. Yeah, there you go, the King of Pentacles. You know who your Twin Flame is. And I feel like this person knows you too. Yeah, there's a lot of love here. Yeah, you're listening to your intuition, your guides. Like, spirit is literally guiding you to this king of pentacles. Yeah, two of wands. You're no longer a stalemate. Like, you're no longer... You know who your person is. Yeah, it's like this person knows that it's not over. Yeah, with the ace of pentacles... With the ace of swords in reverse, there's been a lot of lies about this. Like, somebody trying to prevent you guys from being together. But it's, like, it's still moving. Like this person wants to move 
move on f from all these lies and toxic manipulation you know all these injustices and stuff like that and they want to bring you some reciprocity okay they want to bring give you the give and take so right now i think with the think of the outside the box is really use the sermon heal yourself um continue focusing on yourself you know and uh whatever situation it's gonna bring there's a lot of justice and stuff that's gonna bring to your situation okay uh, let's see your messages very interesting reading but i'm feeling a lot of passion into this new situation so if you're in a twin flame connection you know you know this okay and if you're not you'll know it too okay but again use the sermon take how it resonates but let's see Ooh, magic guardian Absolutely. Hmm. For real? We just said that, but look at that. All right, Capricorn. So right now what the spirits want to let you know is to surrender to rest and sleep. Okay, so if you're overworking, if you're doing too much, make sure that you, you know, rest is productive, okay? Uh, to prevent burnout, slow down. Honor your need to for quiet time and peaceful sleep to re rejuvenate your mind, body, and spirit, okay? Make sure you're doing that because it's also going to help you continue whatever it is that you want to do or you want to birth or you want to bring into life. You need that rest, okay? Right now, you might have a lot of people with a lot of pride or this could be you or this could be someone surrounding you that is uh, sometimes when having too much pride, it can prevent you from, you know, uh, building a better situ a better life or better things for yourself, okay? I love myself and I see myself in everyone, okay? Which is okay. It's okay to be pride, to have pride or things that you've accomplished or things that you've done, but make sure that, you know, you don't let it get too much into your head, okay? Make sure that you, you stay humble, okay? All right? There's nothing bad to be prideful of what you have, but make sure you keep uh, a humble uh, state of mind, okay? So that way you, whatever you give, you know, you get uh, you get back, okay? Uh, I feel like your ancestors, magic guardian, there you go. Unlock the magic within. You hold a lot of magic, a lot of wisdom. And I feel like anything you touch, it just turns to gold, okay? Also, I'm being divinely guided to read you guys from the book for these, the soul journey and for the angels of Atlantis, okay? So we're going to read it after and yeah but there's a lot of meditation make sure you're meditating make sure you're resting you know the, that's part of self-love self-care you know what i'm saying um you, like i said you do have a lot of envious and jealous people um so yeah again you can really uh prevent or from other people what they're doing but you can definitely um it's whatever however you react okay so make sure you're keeping calm you keep being protecting yourself you know you're staging your place you're keeping some crystals around you sleep with crystals on your bed um you know pray meditate exercise do all these things to keep you um protected as well okay and when you focus on your vision or mission it also protects you from envious and jealous energy or anybody projecting that to you okay root chakra capability absolutely i feel like you're really capable of a lot of things if you believe it in yourself okay capricorn i remove obstacles from my path i can actualize what i set out to achieve I cultivate my strength and capabilities with focus and determination. I am brave, strong, and capable. I am strong. Absolutely. You are very strong, okay, Capricorn? All right, 17. The quality of work you can produce when you're going at it alone is almost unbelievable. See, with the Nine of Pentacles that we saw in the beginning, absolutely. You can create anything you want by yourself, you know? And I feel like you really healed and work on yourself for a very long time, so and deal with a lot of really things that a lot of people don't really know and uh, be proud of yourself okay capricorn you are as independent as you are ambitious capable of performing every step of the way with efficiency focus and skill i'm independent absolutely so whenever if you see this angel number happening the 17 make sure they you know that's literally the angel saying that you're going the right path also if there's a message in the angel number maybe look it up maybe there's a message there for you Angel number 17, but let's see what Josephine wants to tell you. Archangel Josephine. There you go. Josephine, meditation. All right. 
Find this stillness in detachment. Help us to towards the angelic freedom evoked by meditation. Joseph Hill provides us with his yellow ray to soar with. All we need to do is quieten our mind. Then we may hear the angels sing. So at dawn or and at sunset, practice meditation. Breathe deeply. Listen intently through the through a relaxed state to the divine. Uh, um, and then be still to hear the music of the angelic kingdoms. This will bring your own oracle oracular messages. Please be aware of your solitude, stillness, and silence. You see, it's very connected to what's going on here. Rest, solitude, stillness, and silence is important for you right now, okay? So if that's something that you've never even tried or you feel kind of uncomfortable, there you go. That's your think outside the box. Try it. You might be surprised what you might find, okay? <laughs> All right, so pride. Pride. I love myself and I see myself in everyone. You need to take time to honor and acknowledge who you are and what your soul has accomplished with your life this far. You should look at your past soul choices and be mindful of how through your positive action, compassion, and understanding, you have made a better life for yourself and others. Absolutely. How have you changed the world in some little way? There you go. Write a journal about it. How have you shared insights with others? Reflect on what you have mastered. Absolutely. You should never under 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 um wait. You should never under appreciate or underestimate yourself or your accomplishments. Now is the time for you to remember how brave you have been throughout your journey. Celebration is required. Okay, go celebrate yourself, Capricorn. Humans tend to spend too much of their energy and time on negative emotion or what they have not done. This card signifies that you should take rightful ownership of who you are and who you have shared your unique life with the world. It might also be a perfect time for you to look around and acknowledge those other souls who have also accomplished many great things and who need to be reminded of them. Okay, absolutely. So yeah, I feel like Capricorn, you're, I feel like you're going through a very good um, transformation and I feel like you're very capable of a lot of beautiful things, okay? But all that you need is you to believe in yourself and, you know, stepping outside your box, you know? Do something a little bit different, especially for you, for others in your planet, okay? All right, Capricorn, that's what I have for you. Let me know if it resonates and I'm sending you so much love. Thank you so much for letting me read for you and I'll see you next video. Bye.